Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and I am here with February 2023 wrap up. So I'm going to show you all the projects that I completed um, this month. Most of these have videos. I do have a couple cards or whatnot that are not going to have a video up. So we've got this one I was using. It's the little things six by six paper pack from a close to my heart and I also got um, the stickers as well as the black letter board for this one um, in particular we did pull in things other than it's the little things we pulled in this um, background paper and then all these embellishments I believe were my mind's eye possibly we scrap lifted this old one I'll try to link what I can down below this one right here was a scrap lift as well. I scrap lifted this one. You can see we made modifications along the way. This is also using its the little things through some glitter paper in there. I love those thin cuts. I don't think those are still available. Those are a couple years old, but I love them. I, I like how all of these layouts came out that I used those papers on. Okay, we scrap lifted this um, older layout and it came out quite a bit different as well. Love this one more. <laughs> like this one a lot better. Really cute. Okay, here is another with it's the little things. I also have a couple little things on here from. Mm -hmm the travel the travel collection <laughs> that I can't remember what it's called um this one I don't think it was a scrap lift it was just strips did some stamping with a texture stamp along the edges this came out pretty cute and this is the last one we did with this the little things and I really really love it <laughs> it's so simple I love it I just only used for the embellishments I only used the letterboard arrows in this there's a cute and a yay and a little tiny sticker that says love this that's all for the embellishments is so cute I love how this came out super cute I know where would you do journaling I guess I will just put a year on it and stick it in the album without journaling and flip through and say oh this is so cute every time I see it <laughs> no need for journaling <laughs> All right, the first part of the month I spent at Kathy's house. So this is just a variety of layouts that I did when I was um, hanging out with Kathy. Super cute. We got sun and fun. This is an older, um, close to my heart. A lot of these do have sketches, but you will see them that I use sketches for. You'll see them though through the video. If you find the video, the sketch will be on the video. Super cute. I love this. I love this collection. It is so cute. Oh, that is just so adorable. This one's pretty cute. This one's not going to be my favorite, but it's okay. It's pretty cute. I love this one. This one is one that also, and um, the sketch called for banners, and I had cut the banners out. I just forgot to put them under there. So it just went like this. <laughs> well, there you go. That was kind of, oops. <laughs> this one, a lot of the things that were in this one um, were from a workshop kit. I think this looks really cute with the crooked house right here. You know, it's a wooden house, and then this adventure sticker is wood. So I think that's really cute. I love the sloth, just because I love sloths. This is that collection I love so much, Story... Is it called Storyteller? No, it's not. Storybook. Um, really, really cute. It's kind of fairy telly. So cute. And I even used some Resistibles cardstock, so that was fun. Here's Storybook again. This one's not going to be my favorite. It's kind of a mess. 
Kathy did a layout where she used this and she colored some of the things in the background. I might do that to kind of pull your eye somewhere because <laughs> right it's just confusing when I look at it. Maybe if I had more color around the clusters possibly maybe that would pull my eye to them right here just looking at it. It's um looks kind of a mess so yeah that's that one I love this one and these little cute little sequins they exactly match the little sand on on his nose oh this is so cute I like this one a lot this is that moxie stamp and thin cut set it's pretty amazing love that this one is super cute too toot toot <laughs> That's me doing my own horn. This is a storybook collection as well. I don't think I did this one at Kathy's. I did this one when I was still here before I left for vacation. Here we got Slay the Day. This was fun. This was a title that was on a four by six picture my life card for the story book collection. If you don't get anything else in the collection, because I understand the pages might be kind of, you know, this is good, but I mean, this page in particular is kind of crazy. There's a side that's more geared towards girls and unicorns. And then there's this side that's more um, geared towards dragons and castles. But um, anyways, what I was saying, if you have a chance to get anything from this collection, get the four by or the picture my life cards. <laughs> I love those two. Anyways, that's where I cut this title out of. I think, was this the cutout one? No, that was a sticker. This is the first cut file I did. I used my Cricut for when I got when I plugged my Cricut back in. We even did some mixed medium back behind there. This was fun. I love this. This is so cute. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna get sent on to Brandy or not. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> Maybe I could take these pictures off and put other ones on there and write my own story down there. <laughs> so cute. All right, here is another one of those summer ones. This is a beach day, and a cute little Adele having fun playing in the sand. A little family day. This one is Cherish. Very cute, guys. a definition of Cherish right there. I can feel what I need to put. I like to put white cardstock on the back, and I can feel I didn't do that with this one. Um, oh, yeah, this I found in... Um, Kathy's stash. So this is the one I did at her house. So I used some things that she had as well, but because she had some things left from the chairs collection. But this is really cute, isn't it? I love that photo. It's super cute. We got this one. I'm keeping this one, even though Tiffany's in it, because you know you can see my weird self is in there too. And so I'm just gonna write the journaling on here about this trip with her and Kyron was there as well. We've got this one using the Cherish collection. This one gets sent along to Brandy. This is Brandy and her son Aurelius. Super cute. We have this one using the storybook collection. My word, guys, is this not the cutest thing? I love it. Look, this zip strip right here. Dragon scales. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love this layout too. I think this just looks fantastic. I think that is why when It's the Little Things came out, I think that's why I was so really drawn to it because it had those pops of black in it as well. And I loved playing with this so much. I'm out. I don't think I have any of this left. I'm not 100% for sure, but I don't know. I think Brandy will love about this layout. I think she'll love that I got this Drama Queen um, sticker up there at the top. I think she will find that amusing. Okay, now these are everything for Mini Kit Monday. How many layouts did we do? Three. So there must have been four weeks. Um, I think I like most of my layouts. I really, really, really loved the kit that I put together with this, which I actually mostly didn't put together the kits. The kit mostly I just used the Good Vibes collection together. Yeah, I thought this was really cute. We had to do some faux stitching. I probably should have went with a different pen, and you'll see that here as well. 
oh, I didn't do the pin thing. That's right. This is when I found, um, at the local scrapbook store, I found these things. And I was like, what are those? And you can, you know, and then I took, then I did take a marker and went hole to hole to hole. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that totally took away from it. I guess I could, um, trim this down again, you know, just inside where I put the line and put it on another background. I might actually do that because I totally totally kind of ruined it and this was a really cool one because we had to do interactive elements or we could have done interactive elements I put a little hinge in here and you can't see it because I used the same cardstock so you can't you can't hardly see it but you can kind of I have it cut diagonal and of course it hinges underneath there yeah Super cute. I do think I will trim that down because this is one that is getting going to be sent to Kayla. And I don't know if she's keeping them or if she's passing them along to her friends as a gift. I don't know. But I don't want to send something of mine outside the house that is um, not great, but just so easily fixed, you know. This, this one thing that really bothers me. So easily fixed. So I can do that without sending it out into the world. and <laughs> looking a mess. <laughs> this one, you look, guys. I got a problem with my shaker. <laughs> oh, wait. That's glued down there. Okay. Sorry, that one's glued down. But I do have a problem with my shaker. My stars keep falling out the sides. Um, when I put it together, I just kind of cut the foam, you know. And I guess I probably don't have some smashed up enough. I love this. This so much. There's a Vince in the background. I got, I probably have a bigger story than this. But that's okay because I can put, see. I can put some cardstock back here. Or just right on this. But I do like to have another piece of cardstock back there. Yeah. So that's all I did. for. Oh no, that's not all I did. I forgot, guys. Um... I did this card, which I'm still developing it. I'm going to go back and try it a different way. Then I did these three cards. They're supposed to look like ransom notes, kind of. You can see they're a little bit different. Here I tried, you know, a little bit of inking. Here we got black dots. Here we got stars. Got some colored dots. Kind of like it with the colored dots and possibly with no ink. I don't know. I haven't decided. And then just, you know, messing around like I like to do. I just made a couple tags just because I like tags. One side is white, um, so they're quite thick. They're double layered. Um, I decorated the front and then the back is just white so I can, like, write someone a note if I wanted to or whatever. Put something inspirational on it. I don't know. So I did three tags. This one looks kind of creepy. It looks like there's a spider under there, but it's actually leaf leaf veins. This one's my favorite, probably. All right, guys. So that really is all I did in the month of February. I want to thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.